Now that we're jogging, we can finally get out of the gym. Uh, have some fun again. Playing some basketball. Uh, we were in the gym for what? what? Six weeks? Five, six weeks? Um, so I'm glad to finally get out into the sun. Um, things actually went much quicker than I thought. My upper body is basically back at max strength about four weeks into training. So I'm actually excited to take things back on the track because yeah, I was getting tired of being inside for hours on end. So we'll start doing some basics. Um, try to do some small throws for discus and shot put and do stair works because running on the stairs at the moment works better than running on the ground because the impact is much lower. So we'll start building my endurance on the stairs and my strength for the next few weeks. And obviously, as the previous month, lots of treatments. So it'll be interesting to see how much progression there is throughout the month. I'll be happy when I can get back to proper running. Um, get to the events, or at least the basics of all the events again. Van de maand december is ook zulke dingen doen, niet basketbal, de hokjes, dingen, maar alles zo rustig, maar wel een beetje. Ja. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. About 10 minutes of throwing. But <laughs> let's get it up for our first time. Alright, let's cut it.
As December rolled around, things were moving very nicely. I was out of the gym and onto the track. I had learned how to jog and now I was learning how to run again. And very early on, I reached another milestone. I woke up one morning, made myself a cup of coffee and I was sitting on the couch when I realized, hey, I haven't thought about my hamstring yet. And up until that point, at every waking moment, I was aware of my hamstring from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep. And this milestone is important because it signals that there is a future in which this injury isn't going to take center stage all the time. Training wise, this period was all about making smooth and consistent progress. Every training session was building on the previous one, always adding something new. So we were on the stairs at first doing one step at a time, then adding some speed, then doing two steps. And before I knew it, I was doing the big steps, adding jumps and adding more speed. We also reintroduced running technique at first on the grass, very calmly, then on the track, making the movements bigger and making them quicker. I was still running on the Alter G. The goal there was to keep building on impact and also on speed. So by the end of the month, I was reaching about 12 Ks an hour on the normal treadmill and 16 Ks an hour on reduced weight. Once in a while, we also introduced other events. I was doing some discus again, some shot put. These were very early days. My hamstring was not strong enough to do proper throws, but it was nice to get that feeling again. But there was one event that was going surprisingly well. The javelin. Would you believe that javelin is actually the quickest event to pick back up? Um, we were throwing in the gym about 10 weeks after the surgery. Even before we were jogging, we were just lightly throwing uh, like weighted balls in the gym and we are now the 20th of December so about four months after the surgery a little bit more than four months and last week already I uh, was already throwing over 50 so it's very surprising that this is the event that picks up so quickly with shot and with discus there's too much power and tension I need to hold on the leg to really be able to throw properly with the javelin, I can just flow my hip into it and it feels fine. It doesn't even bother me. So hopefully I can work a lot of technique this year for javelin because last year was actually a very good javelin year, but I wasn't able to throw any competitions when I was fully in shape. So hopefully this year I can do a lot of that work so that I can make up for what will probably be um, less speed when I start competing again less speed and probably less points in the jumping events. So hopefully then with the javelin, I can make up for some of those lost points. Yeah, so four months and one week in, we're back over 50, fairly easy. That at least is giving me some hope that my body's recovering, but gotta take it slow, little by little. And I think to build up the speed will be a longer process than to build up these basic throws, so yeah. So once we got back on the track, things went really, really well. Thomas was progressing smoothly for around four weeks. But at that point, I could see that mentally it was getting a little bit much. Um, I think his preparation to the Olympics was a lot. Then getting injured and going straight into rehab. It's, it's a long period. And he didn't really have that down period or that off period. And because the holiday season was coming up, it was a perfect moment to take a step back and to recover not only physically but mentally 
And the holiday season was the perfect time to do that. So I told them, please, I don't want to see you for two weeks. Take off, do your own thing uh, and come back fresh. When my brother told me to take the holidays off, he did not have to tell me twice. I was all for it. I needed a break, I needed time away from that seriousness and the focus of the rehab, and to get the opportunity again to express myself physically off the track. And this was the perfect time to do it because my hamstring was feeling better and I was getting more confidence in my body again. So me and my girlfriend, we went mountain biking quite a few times. For my birthday, she took me sea kayaking in Cape Town, which was really beautiful. And we spent time with my family for Christmas and New Year's. She'd also just volunteered to take care of feral kittens for the local shelter. So we had our hands full trying to make them feel at home. And all in all, this was just a really wholesome period, which I had really needed because in order for me to feel motivated on the track, I really need to feel like I have the space and time to express myself physically off the track. Movement has always been a huge part of my life and sports is a part of that, but it's not everything. And in Tokyo, I felt like I had crossed a line. Up until that point, I'd been injured before, but it, it had always been small injuries that just sidelined me. But now, for the very first time, I had an injury that left me disabled and that might leave lasting damage for the rest of my life. And that was something that I had a really difficult time reckoning with. So this was the first period in which I felt like myself again, where I could... You know, go on adventures and go on hikes and go on mountain biking trips and go skateboarding. And some people might say that this is unprofessional, that I shouldn't be skateboarding or mountain biking in the middle of the season. You should do that after your career. But to me, that's a non-negotiable. For me to be all in on the track, I need to be able to be slightly out once in a while. So by the time I started training again, I was rested and I was fully motivated to tackle the next part in this rehab process. I don't even know where to start with January. So much training was done in this month. So much progress was made. I was in this rare flow where every day was better than the one before. I rarely had to take a step back and the amount of progress that I made was just incredible. The focus for this month was still running. I still had to up the speed because eventually I would have to get back to sprinting again. But we also reintroduced other events like high jump. And at first, very playful. I would go every morning on the basketball court to warm up and I would throw the ball up and do a two-legged jump. And I would do a dozen, two dozen, three dozen of those. And then I would move up to layups and I would do a layup, grab the ball, run back and do it again. Run back, do it again, run back, do it again. And because the intensity was still fairly low and the impact was fairly low, I could just repeat, repeat, repeat. And then we went to the track and I would do very light high jumps on the high jump pit and then I would put a bar on and I would put it a bit higher and a bit higher and a bit higher and a bit higher and I was just doing so many reps uh, so consistently that by the end of the month I was jumping at 1 meter 60 in scissors whereas I started the month you know doing very tentative calm jumps. We were also building the throws. Uh, my hamstring was now getting strong enough to do proper stand throws and the shot put out tried my first bit of rotation and in the discus shortly after as well. This rotation was surprisingly difficult. I thought that was going to be something that came back immediately, but I was having a lot of trouble creating tension and torque. I don't know why, but that is an issue that persisted for quite a long time after this. In the javelin, 
I was doing very well and we kept building on that. For the running, I was doing more running technique, more stairs work, I was doing accelerations all the time. And on the Alter G, I maxed out the speed. So I hit 19 Ks an hour, that's about as fast as it goes. So we transitioned to doing our running work on the track. So I started doing 100 meter repeats up and down to build some endurance um, and to build some speed endurance. First starting at 16 seconds per 100 meter and then working my way down to 14. On the Alter G, we then switched to doing more endurance work so that I could start working on my 1500 without tiring out my legs for all the other events that I had to do. And it's really hard to convey the amount of progress that I made in this month. Nothing short of a rocky montage would give you that feeling that I had in that month. And by the end of the month, I was getting a bit weary that things were going too smoothly. But then it was always good to remind myself that there was still so much work to be done. This is decathlon, the work never ends. And there were still events that I hadn't even started yet. I wasn't sprinting yet, I hadn't long jumped, I hadn't hurdled, and pole vault was still months away. But it was still good to be happy and proud of the progress that I had made in January. And at the end of the month, I had to fly back to Belgium for a week. And that sort of rounded up this perfect month that gave me heaps of motivation and made me really hopeful that I would be able to make this comeback successful. I am just in Belgium for a short while, but um, yeah, it's not exactly the way I like to train. It's about six, seven degrees and it's starting to rain at the moment. Uh, luckily, I'm going back to South Africa in a day or two. So I'm just putting in some basic work, doing some uh, warm up and running technique just to keep everything going, but I'm not pushing in this weather. But I might actually, you know, just as a little tease, try to do my first little few takeoffs on my right leg. I don't know, I'll see how I feel when I finish warm up. Do this first sort of long jump exercise since Tokyo. Whew, okay. All right. It's working. All right. That was actually better than I expected, but 
I do sort of have a feeling that a Japanese samurai is going to come around the corner and just fucking slice my hamstring off. Because uh, that's what's playing in my head right now. I just <laughs> think the trauma is uh, trying to pull itself back to the surface. Because once in a while when I'm power training, I get these visions of slipping with the bar or like breaking the step of box and just cracking my leg in different places. Uh, and uh, yeah, that was just have to try because obviously that's not gonna happen, but that's the that's how trauma works I guess. So I hope that uh, that kinda goes away because I don't want to be on the run on the long jump run up and uh, get those kind of ideas so but uh, this was the first step. Uh, I'm actually quite mad that uh, I'm already there. It hasn't even been six months. So now I just have to continue and see if I can make it to Oregon. Uh, yeah, still a long road, but I've got about another six months. So, you yeah. know, let's go for it.